time for a TBR video. I have exams this month from the 11th to the 22nd, I believe. So this month I'm not gonna read a lot. I'm not gonna make myself stressed more than I already am. First I'm going to finish the book that I've already started, which is The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. It is about Nazis and a girl that steals books, I guess. I haven't really read a lot yet. I just know that it's in Death's perspective, which I find really cool. Yeah, that's book number one. Then if I finish that before the 18th, I'll explain. I want to try to read On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I told you in my books I want to read before the end of the year video that I'm, I really want to read this. So hopefully I can. This is about a girl named Brie and she's a rapper. This book revolves around music and it even has a rap in it, I believe. Those are the only two books I'm going to put on my TBR for now. <laughs> for the first half of the month. Then from the 18th to the 24th of November, Buzzwordathon is happening, which is hosted by Books and Lala. And this round, you're supposed to read books that have a number in the title. I'll leave the video in the description. So I have a large selection of books, but I'm not gonna read all of them, but I'm gonna include them. I'm going to show them from most likely to read to least likely to read. So first, a book that I don't even have because that order still has not come and I'm mad, which is Heartstopper Volume 1 and 2 by Alice Oseman. It is a graphic novel about a romance between two boys. That's all I know and I really want to read it. The cover of Volume 3 has just been announced or revealed, I can, I can show you. Then I want to read The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee, 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 I don't know. This is about a society where the richest people live on the top floor and the poorest live on the ground floor and you get it. And it's about the girl that lives on top apparently. Then we have The 100 by Cass Morgan. This is a TV show. This is about a future where Earth is inhabitable, so people live in space, and they send 100 teenagers and children to Earth to see if it's habitable again after a few years. I don't know anything else, but it's a series. There are four books, and I have all of them. It would be nice to read them, because I have this for a long time. Then we have another Miss Marple book, but now I don't really know if it's a good idea, which is The Mystery of Three Quarters. And it's a Hercule Poirot mystery novel. This is about someone sending letters to different people claiming that they are murderers and signed it as Poirot. And they all come to him like, why are you sending these letters? And Poirot wants to find out who is sending them and if the victim of the letters is actually a victim or if it's fake. The last two books I'm not really interested in. They just have numbers and I've had them for ever, really. First, this book is so random. Let's just acknowledge that. It's about Henry VIII's wives and it's by Alison Prince. I've had this book since fifth grade. I got this as a prize at the end of the year because our school did like a prize for who was best in certain thing, like subjects. And we studied Henry VIII and I got this book and I've never read it because I didn't really care anymore. <laughs> so if I feel like this is kind of for children and it would be hopefully fast, it has Roman numerals, numbers on it. And finally, the last book that I have that has numbers on it, or in the title, is The Hundred-Year-Old Man Who Climbed Out of the Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. 
another Swedish author. I think the title is self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna explain what it's about. But my mom really wants me to read this, but I hated the other book that I read, which is The Girl Who Saved the King of Sweden. I didn't really like it. We shall see if I even get to this. My dog is so annoying. I'm gonna let him finish his rant. Is he done? Yes. These are all the books. Never mind, he's not done. These are all the books I'm planning to read, or can possibly read. Yeah, that is my TBR. See you in my next weird video, because this is everything for today. Bye.